Good morning, Mario, and good morning, Switch fans. The tea is piping hot, and the Zelda rumors are scalding, so I had to hop on and bring it to you. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. I just woke up from an unplanned nap. As a kid, horrible. You're like, no, my day's gone. As someone in their 30s, it's quite refreshing and a nice surprise. But let me know your opinion on naps in the comments down below. I got a few things I want to touch on and then we're going into this big Zelda rumor and what it means for the next Zelda title that's coming in 2024. So buckle up. First, I just want to give you this like fun little anecdote I read that Luigi's Mansion 2 was heavily inspired by Mr. Bean. If you know who Mr. Bean is and you know Luigi's Mansion, this blew my mind. Like it connects so well. I understand it. It makes a lot of sense. That's all. Next, I do want to touch on the Insomniac leak that basically spilled, I mean, everything. It took Wolverine Claws to their entire database and just spilled dates, games, gameplay information, and it really sucks. It's really sad, and I just want to give my thoughts out to those people. After working with a game studio for a while on uh, Immortals of Avium, I have a different level of sympathy and empathy for game developers and just kind of like how that process goes and how how human the process is. So this obviously is a huge bummer. Um, I won't cover any of the actual leaks or anything like that, but it did make me think like, what if this happened to a Nintendo game? Like imagine if the next 3D Mario and the EPD team at Nintendo was just completely blown open, like leaked everywhere. Mario gameplay, new levels, surprises, secrets, their next plan of games, all of their big direct announcements. I don't know. I feel like heads would roll. Nintendo ninjas would be like, they'd, they'd be in stealth fighters in, in three seconds. Godzilla would be summoned from the, the depths of the, the, uh, the Pacific. Anyhow, let's talk about the Zelda news today. I know everybody always gets so geeked for new Zelda stuff and me too. Personally, I'm just gonna lay it out there. I hope the next Zelda is old school style. I'd like for it to be 2D. I don't think Nintendo is gonna go back to the linear 3D format. So my choices are between something in the veins of Tears of the Kingdom and something in the veins of Link's Awakening. And I will take Link's Awakening right now because we have so much open world Zelda goodness and that's a lot of game and I'm ready for a switch up. And maybe we are gonna be in for a switch up because we have a new tweet from Nash Weedle and it is cryptic letters and not so cryptic implications. Now, Nash Weedle has had some very correct tweets about Metroid Dread. I think he has some very bogus tweets about the Switch 2. I think he's been right about a few things and then lucky about others and then completely off base on even others. So I don't know what to make of this guy, but I do want to cover it because it's Zelda based and because it is getting some traction. So Nash Weedle tweeted today, C ZR 2024. Now that just sounds like a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo, but it actually correlates back to an earlier tweet that has since been disproven, but may have been affected by delays. And yet this person that originally tweeted it is really usually knows what's up. The person in question is Sir Toto, who's an industry analyst who initially started using the Z abbreviation for Zelda back in 2021. At that time, he tweeted about Z2 2022, implying that Tears of the Kingdom, Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, would be dropping in 2022. And at the time, that's when we thought Zelda Tears of the Kingdom would come out. If you recall, it got delayed into 2023 at a later date, but back in 2021, his Z2 2022, that was the right thing. It was He was accurate. Then, back in October, Sir Kentoto tweeted ZR, 2023 and that got me and a bunch of other people excited that oh my gosh maybe there still is some zelda announcements to be made in 2023 and it seemed like the z was for zelda and the r was for remake now that did not transpire and who knows why the only zelda thing that's transpired as of late was a zelda movie announcement and i don't know what r correlates to in the film world real zelda real like r-e-e-l zelda really surprising zelda really real zelda real because r-e-a-l because it's a live action movie i don't know i think sir Kentoto just missed the mark i think he thought and knew about a zelda remake and thought it would be announced soon maybe nintendo would want to pump things up for the beginning of 2024 and they didn't drop it so now we have nash weedle coming in with c zr 2024 and i say what is the c because based on past precedent, we're going to say that the Z and the R are Zelda remake and 2024 is the year of announcement or release or something. 
The C could be a number of things, but I highlight in on two big ones. Combo or combine. We've had a lot of rumors forever. Go back to Jeff Grubb. He lost his hair over it, okay? Freaking Wind Waker and Twilight Princess remakes on Switch. Those games were as good as there because you could just pull them uh, from their other remake status on the Wii U and you could just move them and, and make it great. That has never happened. It's been an odd missing from the Switch library, a system that seems to compile collections from all of Nintendo's be just best franchises. So this is my best guess, that C is for combo, and that it is a combo pack that's gonna include two. That would be very, very generous for Nintendo, but at $60, I could see it happening. They combined Mario games, Mario 3D titles into one package, but those weren't remastered, Yet, maybe these aren't going to be super remastered or remade. Maybe they're just going to pull the Wii U versions and say, voila, it's on Switch. How many times did they port Wii U games? Oh, a lot. So this would not be out of the ordinary for them. Maybe they will come separately. Maybe they won't come at all. Because there's been another theory for the C floated out there, and I'll give kudos to Andres Restart. I like that guy a lot. I've done a podcast with him, and I think he's very thoughtful and logical and intelligent about Nintendo, and he hypothesizes Capcom remake for Zelda. Now, Capcom has done some of the handheld Zeldas like the Minish Cap and like Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. There has been a rumor of a Zelda Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons remake that's been floating around for about a year now, and it's one that's pretty exciting because those are two sort of like under the radar Zelda classics. They're not the typical ones that people love, like Link's the Past, Not Green of Time, but they are very good games. And we just got them brought back onto Switch via the, I was going to say virtual console, but via the Switch Online app, right? The Game Boy Online app. And you can play both those games on your Switch, and they're actually still pretty fun to this day. Maybe Nintendo has been working on a remake of those. Although it would be odd to have the originals on the Switch and then release the remakes. It sort of feels like double dipping, but if the remakes or remasters or whatever they are, is dramatically improved or dramatically different or a whole new art style like Link's Awakening, then you know Zelda fans are going to eat it up. Now, it could also be Minish Cap, but Minish Cap also released on the Switch Online GBA app. So remaking that, while similarly cool, I think would have less impact given that the GBA game still has amazingly bright, beautiful pixel art and still looks like, in my opinion, good to this day, whereas the Oracle games are definitely more lacking. Now, I honestly wouldn't mind if Nintendo remade any of the handheld Zeldas or brought them to Switch. I'm talking about Spirit Tracks, I'm talking about Phantom Hourglass, I'm talking about Link Between Worlds. Those are all really nifty, fun, unique Zelda games. Personally, I said I wanted 2D. And personally, I'd rather a brand new one. In the same way that Mercury Steam did Metroid Dread, 2D Metroid but brand new, let somebody do Zelda. Let the Link's Awakening team do Zelda 2D but brand new. I know tapping back into the history is what everybody wants to do these days. Remakes and remasters are the hit craze across the industry, but how freaking sweet would a new Zelda in 2024 be? Regardless, let's talk about the third option, which is we have no idea what this C stands for, and they're going to be doing some sort of compilation. They're going to be doing some sort of crazy. They're going to be doing some sort of close. They're going to be doing some sort of, I don't know, a Zelda remake maybe of Ocarina of Time or another game in the franchise that we have not mentioned yet today. Ocarina of Time is the only one I can really see, although they have dipped into that water many times. Nintendo Toes are coated with Ocarinas, as they have re-released that on 3DS, they did it on GameCube, they've done it a lot. But Nintendo does love their old games, and they do love their back catalog, so bringing it back again on Switch would make sense. I've seen some people talk about, oh, maybe there's a big Zelda game for the Switch 2 launch, and I do want to caution against that. I fully believe that the Switch 2 launch is going to be very much about 3D Mario and Metroid Prime 4, and anything else will be much smaller offerings from Nintendo, not of the IP caliber of Zelda or Mario. Also, there's a possibility that Nash Weedle is just tweeting for popularity and tweeting for the heck of it, or got some bad intel, or just wants to mess with people's minds. I don't know that there will be a Zelda game in 2024, although it seems likely. Nintendo does like to have something from Zelda and Mario, pretty much every year, and they have talked before about like, hey, Zelda is, you know, something we want to make more frequent, and I've talked about like, hey, do some Zelda spinoffs. So I would love to see a Zelda game in 2024. I don't think this is like a guarantee in any way, but I'd love to know what you think of this rumor and what you think the C stands for. Combo slash compilation, Capcom, 
crazy or do you think the whole thing is just a big nothing burger? Let me know your take in the comments down below. I hope for a 2D Zelda because I think that'd be a great, fun, awesome addition to the 2024 lineup, which already seems very varied and very driven by nostalgia. Based on what we know is announced, not considering anything hypothetical or anything rumored, it's a Peach game. Super unique. A 3DS Luigi's Mansion game. Okay. Mario vs. Donkey Kong coming back and getting remade with beautiful graphics. All right. And then Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, the Holy Grail GameCube game getting a fresh coat of paint for Nintendo Switch. Add in a 2D Zelda? Man, sounds like a pretty sweet year. Till next time, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. Love you lots. Switch Force out.